Hey what is up guys, it is Speed Studios here and today I'm going to be doing a bit of a different video. I'm going to be showing you how to upload your website to Microsoft Azure. So first of all, you want to get onto the Microsoft Azure page, like so here. Log into your account, using your credentials. Now, uh, to first of all you may want to just... Uh, oh, doesn't like me, as I can see. Let me just. Okay, I seem to have got it fixed now. So, what I've had to do is you have to create your account first, uh, add in your credentials, then sign in, you know, using your Microsoft account, like so. And then, after you've done that, after you've created your account, you should be greeted with this well, the loading screen at the moment. Here you go, this is the portal screen once you've logged on and given your credentials, credit card, but do not worry, this is Microsoft, it's completely safe. Ever want to cancel it, it's completely fine. Now what I'm using here for my website at the moment is just the free version. It doesn't cost you any money. It may ask you to put your credit card in, but it is not taking any money out of your bank account. Okay, so what you've got to do is click down onto web apps on the side here. Click create a web app. Now you want to give it a name. I clicked create, quick create. I'm going to name mine Will Isaac. And then all you got to do choose your region so that you get best internet speeds. Click create what app. Now whilst that's creating, uh, yeah, it's just creating, and your web app should be done soon, which is also known as a website. Here we go. It's done. Okay, now what you want to do is open up your. Oh no, before that, you want to go on to your web app, click on dashboard, and then on the side here, it says reset your deployment credentials. That's because I've already done this before, but what you want to do is do uh, add your deployment credentials or whatever it says for you there. Click on it, and it should come up with this, except you'll. Put your username and a password and a new pa and another password to confirm it. And then once you've done that, you want to open up your uh, FTP client. That's what mine. This is mine here. I'm using FileZilla. Very good. Okay. Now if I just get rid of all this here and show you how to do this, your host name is this here, except for the FTP colon slash slash. You want to copy that into host, your username, which is the username you've had, but as well as that, see if you have a look along the side here, down here, it's got a backslash, now that's depending on who you are and what the name of your website I'm guessing, what you want to do is put the whole thing, so mine's Will Isaac, backslash Will Isaac, because that's the username I used and also the name of the website, so Will Isaac. Then you just want to enter your password and then click quick connect. And once you've done that, you want to double click on site. You want to click on www root. And then here you're greeted with this folder. You want to keep everything in this folder because this is how it works. Locate your folder on your desktop or on your C drive or whatever place you've got your website. Uh, find it, select all of the contents and drag and drop it onto this part of FileZilla. Do not worry, it's not taking it and replacing it, it's just copying it. Now once that's done, all we need to do is minimize FileZilla, go back to uh, the main portal of your website and click your URL and voila here's your website already and um thank you for watching i hope you learned something from this video you're able to make your own website and host it and if you do please give a shout out or something to me go check out my website go check out youtube channel subscribe like and comment thank you very much for watching and goodbye